Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Kuru Shell, this time around, um, well first, last time we were here, last episode, we um, expanded our territory, we integrated um, the great Zaplo Empire into our empire, or, or well, into our collection of, ah uh, this looks all empire, our empire, um, Kuru Shell, and so now we have all this extra space here. Um, and it's boosted our economy, it's uh, given us a lot more minerals, um, and we're, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we also, um, so yeah, um, in the previous episodes, we took up the Collector uh, Kingdom and vassalized them, and in the previous episode, we also vassalized um, the Julian Stellar Commonality. Um, and so, in a matter of, um, let's see, how far before I can um, integrate these guys? We can integrate the uh, Collector Kingdom in a little less than, you know, just about five years. Almost exactly five years. Um, so that's going to be cool. Because that's just going to um, add to this territory. And I'm probably going to make all of that into one sector. Um, and so that's going to be um, it's gonna be nice for us. And then when, the, when this becomes available, um, we'll kind of move on from there, and I'm just going to have to figure out um, what I'm going to do next. Um, I was considering um, going to war with the Human Combine. They just came out of war mm -hmm. with their neighbors, the um, Spiron Heg Hege Hegemony, um, Hegemony. Um, and so um, it's prime time right now, if I were to go to war with them, this would be the time to do it. <laughs> Your alien appearance is unsettling to me, Kuru. What are you here to discuss? That's... <laughs> they're xenophobes. <laughs> of course, of course they would say something <laughs> so impressively insulting. Um, <laughs> so... The fleet power is pathetic, the naval capacity is pathetic. Um, we could totally go to war with them right now. And we could totally vassalize them right now. Um, and, and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm struggling to, to do that. Um, we also have the option of vassalizing their allies. Since their allies are way over here, um, I'm feeling like that's, um, that's not going to be doable. Mostly because we can't even reach them at this point. Um, they're, they're so far over here that uh, we don't have any wormhole stations um, to, even, to even humor going over there. Um, so what I'm considering is, um, I have a, uh, a trade deal with these guys, the Spiron Hegemony, um, so I can build wormholes and there's wormhole stations in their space. So, um, I have some construction ships that are just kind of sitting around, um, three of them in fact. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably send them to, um, build wormhole stations and then I'll go to, to go to war with the human combine. Um, and vassalize them. And this will give me um, a nice bit of territory. It will give me, let's see, one, two, three, four, five planets. Um, plus, eventually we'll be going to be able to colonize some of the planets and their systems. Um, and that will just open the door for me over there. Um, and um, I know that, that I had these guys as a target for some time, the Julian Consortium. Um, I'm still considering. Um, go in war with them but um thing is they're, they're too big there's just just um they have so many planets um i wanted to vassalize them in one fell swoop um what i don't want to do is i don't want to see their worlds um because of just how hostile will appear to our neighbors um our neighbors don't like it when we humiliate people either um so um if this was just like two or three war score less, it wouldn't be a problem for us. But because of the fact that it costs 102, um, I, I can't go that route with them just yet. Um, and just look at this. Um, I'm, I'm going to, of course, go back to this. But there are no research options for me to um, to even humor um, humor um, like reducing our uh, the cost of, of seeding planets 
So I think our best bet as far as expanding right now is to go to war with the human combine. And it's kind of sucky because we were on friendly terms with them. Um, but we'll be on friendly terms with them again once we've conquered them. Um, I can also go after the um, the the Safad Union. Um, let's see, they're they're they have a they're in a pact with um, the Ox Proxy Confederacy, um, and that's like it's pretty much right here. Um, and that wouldn't be bad because these guys are pathetic. Um, actually, well, I'm sorry, these guys are inferior. And these guys are definitely pathetic. So that wouldn't be much of a challenge. Um, I could always take them in this war. Then in the next war, I could take these guys and I would have this whole block of space right here. Um, so that is also a, a pretty good option. That way I can just kind of vassalize. Um, I would vassalize these guys first and then these guys next. Hold on, let me think about this. Oh, I'm just gonna set this on because we've got, of course, it's just strategizing right now. If I were to vassalize these guys and then make these guys a protectorate, and the war scores are a problem too. Um, that's where I run into um, a conflict on what I want to do versus what I should do. Because um, if I see those planets, those people are going to be um, really unhappy with me. Um, and um, I'll. I'll um, I'll pick up a lot of anger from all my neighbors. Um, I'm just, just trying to check this out though. Boom. If I were to um, see those planets. Um, seeding planets is pretty expensive. Incoming transmission. Yeah, incoming Construction transmission. complete. Ruskin. See, that would just, um, this one world, this this one system right here. Uh, but the, I mean, sorry, all the space right here, just three planets uh, will cost me 89 war score. So, um, I mean, I'm not as well as the guys because it's, um, it's just worthwhile to do it that way. I, I couldn't do anything with, with that planet, so. Anyway, those are my options. Um, Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, but without having to worry about the war between. I am not going to have a non aggression pack with you guys because I have aggressive <laughs> intentions towards you. Um, I am going to go to back to war with these guys, and I'm going to take their space. That's that's kind of the end of that uh, discussion. Um, question is, will I go to war with the humans? Situation log updated. And the answer is no. Actually. Um, the answer is I don't know. I'm thinking yes, because it would be kind of stupid for me to have like this little patch right here and then not go after these guys, because um, I can always um, vassalize these guys, and so I would integrate these guys, then integrate these guys like a short time afterwards. Um, it's going to be a bit dicey. Excellent, I've got proton torpedoes now. Um, so your construction time minus 5%. Um, that's just for buildings, not for ships. If that was for ships, I'd be really excited about that. Um, shield capacitor, um, shield regeneration, that would be really cool for us to have that. Um, but I'm going to focus on weapons um, since we're moving towards yet another war. Um, and so I'm just going to keep this pause for just one minute while I upgrade a few things. Um, the officer class. Um, I, I created a few uh, new ship classes. Um, one of them is the officer class, and that was um, primarily going to be weapons and torpedoes. And now that I have the um, the proton torpedo available, I'm going to be replacing those. So, oops. And now I'll have to give these guys a little bit more power. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. I know what I have to do. Um, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose some shield. But not much. Um, so there we go. So that's, 
So now we have those, and then we also have our commander class, which has the same kind of arrangement. So we're going to get proton torpedoes here. And the next class of ship that I design is, is going to um when the next ships that I create that I am um, Alright. The next ships that I am um, create are gonna be these these this class. They're gonna be um kind of a one of the primaries. I'm gonna have the Gladius so the Gladius, I'm gonna have the Gladius and the Commander are gonna be my primary um, cruisers. Then the defenders are gonna be support, um, and then the storm are gonna be support, um, and the machine gun are gonna kind of be support too. But primarily, my, my primary is gonna be Gladius and Commander because of the the, the damage that they can do with those torpedoes um, and the shield damage these guys do is just spectacular. This is plus 200% shield damage. Imagine that with this um, damage being at 130, 240. I mean, that's that's it's crazy damage we're going to be able to do in those ships. Um, I'm just going to upgrade these uh, shields. To I'm creating too much power. Um, so, what am I going to do here? Something's got to... Uh, I'm, I'm going over. And I would love to use that for... Um, oh, I can't though. I can't... Uh, It's kind of too bad. Um, that research for better, um, better fusion reactors. I need to get those so that I can. Um, um, I don't have to use so many spaces to power this, uh, power my ships. So that's. You have to kind of make choices like that. They're not going to have as much shields, um, and they don't really have any armor. But that's my next. Um, oop. That's my next thing too. I have to give my ships armor. I haven't. Um, I haven't done that. But anyway, um, so I'm going to quickly, quickly now, System send him complete. into here. And Hostile fleet engaged. We're currently clearing out some spaces um, over here, so that's why it sounds like I'm in combat. Or oh, there's the enemy combat. Um, I'm, I'm getting rid of some of the. Um, Alien and um, hostile fleet engaged. Uh, space amoebas that were in the Ships space, and there's also upgraded. some sapphire lurkers, some crystalline creatures that were in that space. I'm just kind of trying to clear all that stuff out so I can um, survey those systems, get those resources, um, and yeah. So you have to utilize some of that space that I have been taken that I haven't been able to utilize. So he's right there. Situation log are you? updated. Great. He is going to come and Situation build log updated. a wormhole station right here. Great. I hope they're okay with us uh, using their space as a launching point for our uh, for our war. They were just at war with these guys, so I'm not sure how they'll feel about us. Um, Cleaning up where they started off, but we don't even have real access to that kind of territory. I don't think we can even enter one of their systems yet. Oh, we can enter this system. Um, so that might be the start of our uh, our campaign. I can just hit this system, and um, I actually have a, a, a trade pack with these guys, so I can build wormhole stations in their space. So I might as well do that too. It's kind of funny, hey. <laughs> it's not funny, actually. It's, it's kind of cruel. Um, it's kind of a jerk move. Um, System survey but we, we make an arrangement with them so they can build um, stations in their space and then we invade. Uh, it's not maybe the nicest thing to have done, but we saw an opportunity and we took it. Uh, actually, no. On second thought, if I can build one inside this space, that's better that that was, that was like on, on the edge of the space, but it's hard for me to tell how far into the space I can go. Um, Incoming transmission. 
incoming transmission. <laughs> they want that. I'm just gonna decline. Sorry, guys. <laughs> They've been declared rival by those guys. Palicius. Who are these guys? Where are you looking? They are way over there. They are of little use to you guys. And so I have to wait for them to um, finish building these um, stations. Yeah. Oh, these guys actually use wormhole technology. That's good to know for future, um, for future purposes. Um, now I'm going to be squeezing these guys' space over here and over here once I do vassalize these guys. Um, so that's going to be um, these guys are going to be my next target. Um, of course, they're a much bigger target and a much harder target because they have um, like a bunch of allies and vassals. Um, so. If I went to war with them, and eventually we will, we're looking at um, going to war with seven other empires. And that's not easy. That is not an easy thing to do. Um, I've, fleet engaged. In a different game, I had to go up against a whole bunch of them at one time, and I was not... Um, that was not an easy walk. That was. I mean, we beat them, but um, it was a rough road. And now that I've got that cleared out, I'm going to have this guy. Let's see. He's right there. He's still... Wait, what? Oh, did I never actually build that, um... Oh, he's still building. Situation log updated. I have two! In that system, okay, that makes. Oh, I see. I know why I have two in that system because they're gonna, they're both going to be building um, construction complete mining stations in that construction space. Construction complete. I have like a bunch of extra uh, construction chips, and I'm trying to utilize all of them. Um, oh, okay. That that he's done with that, and he's done. All right, now that he's done with that one, I'm just going to go and I'm going to build one, another wormhole station right here. Figure out, I'll build it um, in systems that don't have planets. Um, that way they're not quite on the radar and there's less travel through those systems. Assuming these guys um, don't use the um, hyperdrive to get around. They won't be bouncing into that system too much. Um, and so, I'm almost at the point where I can go to war with these guys, but while, before I do that, I guess I should probably uh, make sure I got all my ship designs upgraded. And maybe I should build a few more ships uh, while I'm at it. So we have... Um, I need at least two more cruisers, and one just battleship, and a couple of corvettes. So, Battleship on this one, and I'm just going to do the um, not the Holy Fire class, the Katana class. Boom. Um, and I'll build two cruisers that are going to be Gladius. Nope, actually, you know what? Because I've been neglecting, I'm just going to build those Commander class System like I thought I would. Complete. I'm going to build two Commander classes. How much time do you have? So two cruisers, and then for these guys, um, this I will build corvettes, 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 and we're gonna do officer class. And how many first one I'm gonna make? I'm gonna make eight. Eight sounds good. Um, so where is the officer class? There we go. One, two, three, four, five. In fact. Boop. We do four here and four here. One, two, three, four. Great. Um, now I do need some defense against. Um, how long is it going to take? 175. 100. Uh, it's going to take that. Um, I also have to build 
some um, destroyers. So while they're doing that, I'm going to build a destroyer assembly yard right here. Um, and then once I've built that destroyer assembly yard, I'm going to go build um, some defenders. And defenders are pretty much my, uh, my point defense. Um, I need better point defense um, because if the humans use... Um, in fact, I'm in their space. Uh, while I'm in their space, I can see if... Um, I can scout and see what kind of ships, what kind of weapons their ships have. Um, though they're pathetic, they probably don't even have any ships right now because they were crushed in that last war they were in. Um, huh. That didn't quite connect how I wanted it to. They still got this little opening right here. Um, that, that sucks. Maybe I should have um, built it in this system instead of this system. But nevertheless, both of these are here. So they can both um, build mining stations. Build mining station, this one. This one. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. This one. And this one. And then this guy is going to... Construction station. complete. This one. This one. And... Construction complete. Then he's going to move on. And he's going to build the mining station. And... Come on. Come on. Construction complete. Okay. Guess he's already got those plotted out. Cool. Construction complete. Oh, my bad. I guess I am. Um, Construction ah, complete. Oh. oh well. That's gonna give us a lot of minerals. Um, so I'm psyched about that. It's gonna we're gonna have like seventeen min or seventeen minerals and then um Depending on, I don't know which one of these is going to get finished sooner. He's probably going to get finished sooner because this guy has a couple more to do. So I'm just going to have him build the mining station right here too. Um, now that I've got that. I was going to remove this one. Um, so I'll, I'll do that because um, I need the influence. Disband. I agree. We're gonna lose seven, maybe? I guess we're gonna lose seven minerals a month. But we're gonna we're gonna win those back and when we get these built. So Ah, so yeah, this totally just connected our space between here and there now. Um, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, Construction but complete. We'll get that back. We'll 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 get this um this section of space back pretty soon that's connected to each other. As long as these guys don't do anything stupid. I mean, if they decide they want to build a uh, um, build an outpost over here, then we'll have to um, shut that down. Unemployment on our planet. How is that possible? Oh, no, no, no. It's not un unemployment, really? Where's the unemployed? Oh, that's because I didn't have it activated. There we go. And he's good. And this one is not deactivated. Okay, I deactivated this one, but I didn't deactivate this one. Um, it's kind of like System survey complete. I'll upgrade this to a physics lab. A minute. Physics oh, engineering. Okay, good. So this is going to be a physics lab. Okay. We're physics people, so I'm gonna give us a. Yes, sir. Let's focus. Our, our 
physicists where we um, we're natural physicists. Oh no! That's telling me that the episode's going to come to an end soon. It feels like I literally just started. Um, but thunder always seem to go. That's how it is. It's, time flies by when you're having fun, and time also flies by when you're just um, plotting. Construction um, complete. Yeah. I'll upgrade that one too. This, this is going to be engineering. It's good to be research focused. I'm starting to have second thoughts about uh, removing that um, because now it's just kind of sitting there. Um, but if I can, uh, once once I get this research, oops. Okay, I guess that was finished. Um, quantum missiles. That sounds really cool. Or durasteel armor. Durasteel armor sounds like a bright idea to me because um, quantum missiles. Oof. Man. That's, um, these are both really good options. This is 20 months, this is 24 months. Um, armor will definitely protect my ships and they'll, they'll last longer. Um, I haven't usually used missiles very much now that I have torpedoes. I suppose it's kind of a silly thing to even humor these things, but torpedoes take a long time, such a long time to fire. Um, the cooldown period for torpedoes is like five times, oh, sorry, four times that of, um, uh, missiles, and so you can fire a lot more in a short time period. Um, and if I continue this research, I might get a, a different kind of missile that actually like fires multiple missiles at the same time. Um, but I feel like armor is going to be the best bet. And maybe, hopefully, this is going to come around. This is going to come around again next time. Um, I just have to um, I have to get this terrestrial armor, um, and then I have to actually put it on my ships. And, give us a little bit more defense against um, our opponents. Longevity in battle. Um, if you can, if you can, you don't necessarily have to outfire them if you can outlast them. Um, and I just want to send him in here just so that he can um, I spy. What? Just, just to do it. Um, maybe I won't have a problem with it. I might just send. Um, I might just build a few wormhole stations under mate planet systems as well, since um, I do plan on invading them. I might as well just. Um, might as well just do it anyway. I'm just gonna build one right here. And then I'll build one um, right here. Boom. That way I can just jump straight into their systems and jump from those systems to the other systems. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll shorten the time span of waiting around to go from one system to the next. Instead of jumping from this to this, and then from this back to this to another wormhole station to this, I just I figure I might as well just make it easier on myself. Oh, wow. Actually, they use wormhole sp space travel too, so uh, I guess it's a smart move for me to um, do what I'm doing right now. Um, what I can do, um, a great way of cutting off wormhole focused um, species is to destroy their wormhole stations. So um, I know our vulnerability, and they have the same vulnerability as we do, so we can um, exploit that. Um, and just kind of get an idea of where their wormhole stations are. Um, they've got one right here, and we have one right here, um, and then one of theirs is right here in this system, so that, that'll, that'll also stop them from bouncing over here and attacking some of the worlds once they've um, claimed them. Um, and that's gonna keep an eye on their technology. Their pathetic fleet power? Okay. The moment I finish building those uh, wormhole stations... Oops, I, I forgot that I had this unpaused again. I hate when I do that. Um, the 
moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That they're finished creating those wormhole stations, then I can go to war with them. And in the meantime, um, we're just going Science to. Science ship so under good. attack. Science ship under attack? What? Where? What? Who's, the, who's attacking us? Oh, well, there went that guy. Oh, crap. That's t scientist hand. Ah, oh, that's so stupid. Why didn't he flee? I probably, I probably uh, deactivated it. Um, I just lost another scientist. That's fantastic. That's just fantastic. On the bright side, I have these science ships that I wasn't using. Who's going to war? Oh, the Dimlar declared war on the Julian Consortium. Okay, that's system survey. That's great. Complete. Because that means that if they um, claim just one of their planets, then we can go to war with them next time and vassalize them. Um, survey speed, research, Emily um, speed. Um, I am gonna have to go with survey speed. Let's go with that. His name is Cognant. What a surprise! Named after our last leader. Right, now that we've got. Um, man, where did the other one get destroyed? Okay, over here, the void cloud killed him, right over here. I should just. Uh, I should have known that was going to happen. But we've pretty much. Um, we've surveyed all of this space over here. Um, so that's. Um, so we're not gonna have to worry about um, surveying for a while. Then I'll, I'll have them do some doing some research assistance. Um, and because over here this is a fallen empire, so they're not gonna want us near their space in their space. Um, and I have to um, destroy these lookouts before I send a ship over here to um, survey over in this space. So, how many leaders do we have? Yep, we're maxed out, so I can't, um, I'm just gonna do some research assistance, but we'll have to wait for that. And I hate that I've lost another, um, scientist, because, um, it just means that, um, we're back down to two level one scientists, instead of having, um, like a level four or level three, or level five. I need a level five for the, um, to, to finish that, um, research chain. Um, over here, but I can't until I have a level 5. If this is level 5, this is level 5. But anyway, I finished that, um... Wait a second. Have I finished already with constructing those ships? So we've got 10 cruisers, 25 corvettes, um, 20 destroyers, and I have that one battleship. Um, so I've got a pretty mean uh, force right here. And I still have 40 um, naval capacity to go. So here's what I might do. In fact, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to get caught by surprise with the um, with the missile attack again. Oh, actually, Kundia, we need to um, build a, a battle, battleship assembly yard. That way, it uh, reduce the cost of our battleships. Um, but I'm going to see. We're in their space. They don't have a single ship. They don't have a single battleship. This is kind of startling. But what I can do is I can see what kind of um, what kind of weapons they're. Um, up. I can't even see what kind of weapons this ship has. Let's see if it's um, a missile. Or I don't know what kind of spaceport they have. Huh? Eh. Um, just to be just to be safe, just to be smart, I'm going to. Oops, not that one. Not that one. 
just to be smart, I might build some more defenders, destroyers. Um, because we have point defense here, and so they'll be able to um, offer some... Um, take, care, take care of all of those um, missiles if they come at our fleet. So I'm just going to build... Defenders, destroyers. Okay, there we go. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And you right here. One, two, three. Great. So, that's going to give us ten um, defenders. And while I'm working on that, I will send my uh, transport ships into this space. I'm not into their space right directly, but I'm just going to send them to a launching point, which is going to be right here, right, 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 right there. That's where um, I've got a wormhole station. Uh, curator. We don't have a wormhole station right here. We should have one. That's base two. We have one right here. We have wormhole station right here. And we have one right here. We should be good. Actually. On second thought. I should send them to this one. I think with this one I can one shot it from here to here. I don't know. That's a good start. It's a good place to start. Complete. Um, and I'm, I'm actually gonna I might build um, a couple more armies while I'm at it. Um, at least one, two. One, two. One, two. Oh, I'm out of ah. a little bit longer for the last one. That'll, that'll give me a total of um, 10 armies. Um, and I can bring them all together again um, to make one set of 10. Because um, um, maybe I'll, I think I'm just going to have a total of like um, five sets of 20. Aha, there we go. They have their first ship. And their torpedoes, what do you know? And lasers. And their wormholes. So their tech isn't too far from stretch from ours. They have an advanced combat computers. Construction complete. They have better antimatter reactors, they have better um, defense, better energy on their ships than we do. Um, and so we're probably gonna take that tech. They have afterburners. Um, so, um, this is going to be a very short war, but um, just having known what they have here, um, this is going to boost our, um, our research into antimatter our reactors. Remove, malfunctioning, okay. As part of our observation efforts on Tritita, abduction teams have surgically installed brain implants on a number of slurpinor test subjects to track them and monitor their behavior. Unfortunately, due to a manufacturing flaw, many of these implants have malfunctioned and are now having an adverse effect on the behavior of our subjects. There have been a number of suicides and at least three episodes of violent hysteria. The staff of our observation posts, who have been very helpful so far, not, has asked for help in rounding up the remaining subjects and removing their implants before there are any more incidents. Situation log updated. All right. I can send someone to take care of that very quickly. Um, science ship him. He's not doing anything. He's on Kundia. So I will send him to take care of this um, malfunctioning um, go to. Great. You will fix this. Research project. Gotcha. And then I will send him to 
do nothing else. Because there's nothing else that I can have him do. Actually, I'll send him to do assist research. Um, he's in the same system already. No, he's, system he's in the survey system. complete. I'm going to send him to Karstock Stronghold <laughs> to help with research. assignment is to assist research and that'll bump up our research a little bit um, construction complete just by 10% um, 10% is going to be a lot All right are you done building he's not done building yet um, okay construction complete almost finished but this guy is finished. Now we're going to send him away. Construction complete. We're going to send him here. Move oh, here. Great. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Um, next episode, we are actually going to go to war with the human combine. This is all just prep work. Um, I've been building up my fleet here, so um, I'll have like 30 destroyers, 25 corvettes. We have to build some more corvettes. So, um, That'll be one of the next thing I build up. Um, and I'm just going to have a pretty strong um, military force out there to, um, to gonna let these guys get killed. They're going to go with us. But we're going to wash through the, um, the human combine very quickly. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And I just figured out what I'm going to have to do next. That's build um, wormhole stations headed this way. So just in case, I can get over to those guys. But um, you guys have a wonderful day, and God be with you.